Hey everybody. Hey. Welcome back. We are uh we're on our way to find yep. that little little butthead. Yep. We're on to our uh, rematch with Seath. Getting pretty close. Rematch as in the counting the time where you have to die to him. Doing it first try. Yeah. Heard it here first. <laughs> Heard it here first. First try. <laughs> and then after that, we will be going on to the DLC. And then uh, that will be the end of the game after the uh, final boss. All right, okay. Final Let's boss doesn't really have an area. You pretty much just like go to the final boss. Yeah. Um, and he's actually like pretty easy too. So, like, I think he's one of the easier bosses in the game. Wow! Look, it's like it's like they like to add bosses as enemies. Yeah. Though uh, you don't actually have to fight it. Now I think. Yeah, maybe you just go straight for us this time. There we go. You and me both, yellow guy. You thought. You thought. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. Well. Ooh. <laughs> the, uh, just the, the edge just took me. Yeah. It was like, it was like someone turned on a vacuum <laughs> and there was no fight to be had. Yeah. Now I see that there's a way to take no damage. There's the ladder. I was like, man, that sucks that they make you walk into this area and immediately drop down and take, like, a quarter damage. Yeah. Or an eighth I mean, damage or whatever. I time, so, you know. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. Take that, nerd. Now, I know we've talked about it uh, before a little bit, but yeah, I'm totally down to do Dark Souls 2 myself. Like, have me play it. Yeah, have him point. be tortured by it. Because <laughs> I know you don't want to play it. Um, Is there a way past but... him? Um, Looks like there's more so a way so. past him. Well, well, <laughs> cause I saw like I saw the the snow. Yeah. But yeah, I just uh, I really like these games, obviously. So I'd like to do one of them on the channel, and that's really the only one left. Um, I mean, you were originally gonna do Dark Souls. And then, yeah. uh, and then everything happened yep. where we like, we lost, what was it? We lost like a video. We lost audio. Well, okay. So back then we just used to record in a big chunk. Yeah. Um, like now we record 30 minutes and then stop the recording or whatever, you know? Yeah. But back then we would record for like two and a half hours or whatever we would do. And then, um, we'd go and chop it up into 10 minute episodes. So I remember like, and we also recorded the audio and the video separately. Yeah. Um, and I remember just looking at my recording when I got home and I went to go edit it 
and around like an hour and a half the audio um just stopped like it just it just stopped i don't know why it just stopped recording yeah and then i remember weren't we going to okay i went i jumped (laughs) when i went to roll but that's fine Mm -hmm. but uh i remember like we were like all right well let's do it again and then the audio just kept stopping yeah um uh, yeah we just gave up and um we weren't even really planning to do dark souls 3 right away but then you decided you wanted to yeah um it was like my first foray. Them. yeah yeah and it was honestly I, I it was probably dark it was, 3 was a good starting point yeah it was probably the best one for like a, like a beginner <laughs> Like, you lose out on some of the magic by not having played this game, but, like, so, like, if you really are coming into the series, like, wanting to get into the lore and all that, then I would say start with this one, but if you're just in it for, like, the gameplay, which I think, you know, I would say probably even the majority of people are, Yeah. Um. then three is a good one to, to start with. And then once you like have the systems down, you can kind of go backwards. Um, you know, you just lose out on some quality of life stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, that's why I wanted to play two though. I think two is underrated. I'm like ninety percent so, positive this is just like side area because I see that and it makes me want to try and get there. Uh, the one on your left is definitely a side area. Cool. <laughs> um, the the first way you went is the way you're supposed to go. Gotcha. There was definitely no way past that, like, other yellow dude that was down on that yeah. second one. Mm-hmm. So was it like oh, I always gotta like turn back around? Um, or you know, like instead of going that know. way, go the other way. Yeah, it's hard to remember because all the uh, floors are invisible. <laughs> But I did make this walk many times, so I remember going that way a lot. I just hate areas where the entire area is, like, get knocked off, die. Yeah. I can see that. Especially... When the enemies, like, have extendable arms. Yeah. They can fuck off of that. I, I hate in general things that just kill you in one All right, hit. so that's not the like, path. Like, off and off. Like, I get it, you know, but I... Like, if a game has a health bar and lets you take multiple hits, yeah. then it really sucks to die in one hit, even if it is from something like falling, which, you know, would kill you in one hit or whatever. Yeah. It's like, I'm, just put... I'm thinking, I'm... Yeah. I'm going to say, it's like, just put me back up where I fell and like, give me some damage. There's a game that does that. I'm trying to think of what it is. <laughs> a lot of games. <laughs> but, like, Eternal a recent one it. that I played. Oh, Yeah. Um, Returnal takes a little bit of damage. Um, Guacamelee, that's what it is. When you fall in a pit in Guacamelee, it literally just puts you right back on the platform. You don't even take yeah. damage or anything. You know what was weird? It was I was playing Returnal last night. Yeah. And I don't know if, like, I had, like, some, like, power up that, like, I just didn't read what it did. But, like, there yeah. was, like, multiple occasions on the same run where I would have took a hit and lost like life and my 
adrenaline, and neither yeah. happened. On like multiple uh, like occasions. You might have like a shield going or something. Maybe. But like I never used anything to like make a shield or anything. Yeah. I don't know. I know there's been times where like I think I'm getting hit in Returnal, but I'm not. Oh and no, I, think I got it's because I got hit. Um well I, in my case I think it's because um Where the fuck am I going? It's here if you look to your right like is there any snow like falling? Okay. It's really hard to tell. It there's stuff falling, but it doesn't look like it's um Hmm. Yeah, um, Returnal, though. The, uh... That's a good idea. <laughs> what the heck was that? I don't know. Um, no, the problem with Returnal, like, why I always think I'm getting hit is because... When you level up your weapon proficiency, you, like, flash red, which normally yeah. means, like, oh, you're getting hit. But, no, it's a good thing in this game. <laughs> um, I'm going to look up uh, a video here of somebody. God damn it. Somebody doing it. Because, yeah, I don't remember. Um, this guy is walking and walking. Man, don't stop to fight this guy. I just want to see the path. <laughs> what an asshole. Um, okay. So he's going a little bit of a different way. I don't know if this is for a secret or not. No, I think this is the correct way. Okay, so you do want to go towards that first yellow guy, but you don't want to go to the left, like we saw where that message was. Yeah. You want to go to the right at the end of the platform. Um, and it looks like it really tries to make you fall, so you really got to, like, <laughs> um, be careful. Yeah, I could have swore you kept going straight. But yeah, you want to go to the end and then like onto the little thing that he is like guarding. Cool. But, uh, it's cool. Very we, hard to... we like we like to jump instead of run apparently. Or There's like a the area that you can like stay on. Because I'm double tapping B. That's why I'm jumping. Yep. Oh, no. Fucking one tap did it that time. That's why uh, Dark Souls 2 changed the jump to L3. Which they do let you change it in this game. I think it's in the options. Uh, but the original Dark Souls did default to having it on, the, on B. My guess is I just have to stop running and just dodge past the attack. Because yeah. it's like if I'm running, it's going to do a jump dodge. Yeah. Just like that, probably. Which is stupid. <laughs> what was I got my first uh, power up in Returnal yesterday. That gave me mm -hmm. a faster uh, dash recovery. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't know if I've gotten one of those. And I think it, like, it let me useful. like dash, dash like a little further. Yeah. Over here. And yeah, and then, right. Uh, right there. There you go. 
and then just keep following the messages. That's very helpful. <laughs> and then uh, try to beat Seath on the first try so that we don't have to do that again. Yeah. I'm about to uh, beat... There's still like one more room before him. I'll beat his ass, I know, but I want to... I want to get my asses back on, so I'm not worried about it. That's the room up there. You could just make a run for it. Screw these guys. Yeah. And then it's kind of funny if you like look back, they can't go that far, so they're just like trapped. Yeah, are you sure? I don't know. I don't know where it is. <laughs> At some point. <laughs> That mm. looks important. Yeah. You flying is not physically possible. <laughs> you don't need skills to fly. <laughs> Missed it. Got it. Is there another one behind him, or is it oh, just that Oh, one? hey. They came into the arena? It would appear that way, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> I've never seen that before. My first thought was, I don't remember to see the, uh, so many minions. <laughs> oh, that's right. In this... So in this first battle, I think you start on the opposite side from where you come in. So you're gonna have to like run by him to get to that next time. Yeah. Well, now it should be a relatively easy walk. Long walk, but easy walk, since you know where to go. What assholes let those fucking clams come in there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. My game glitched and now I gotta go run back there. <laughs> first first try is still intact. Of course. No technically oh, I do feel like a, I do feel like it glitched considering they made it through the, <laughs> yeah, uh, the, yeah. the old boundaries there. Yeah. That is true. That was definitely, um, I don't know if you'd call it like a glitch, but unintended, yeah. at least. Um, I'm sure it's just because it was your first time going in, so like there was no like fog wall yet. Yeah. And something to do with the cutscene. <clears throat> have you played any more of a uh, near replicant? I have not. Fuck! Man. I don't think I ever talked about it on camera, but I finished it. And it was very good. Yeah, I don't know if you did or not. But. Um. I like Nier Automata, though. Um, a lot more. And I've been yeah, replaying that one. And that one is you, extremely good. I remember you were telling me that, uh. It felt. More. Uh, different in yeah. all manners. Whereas like, I, I really like Near Replicant, but it's definitely clear that it came out before Near Automata. Because, yeah. like, Near Automata took the ideas and, like, refined them a lot. Like, one of the key staples in the games is that you have to, like, keep replaying them after you hit the credits. Yeah. And, like, different things happen. But in Near Replicant, those different things were few and far between. So you were just doing a lot of the same stuff over and over again. Whereas in Nier Automata, like when you're asked to replay a part of the game, it's very different. And you're only asked to do it once also. Whereas in Nier Replicant, you're asked to do it three times. So. But definitely a good game. 
um, and they added new stuff for this release, which I never played the original release, but I can definitely uh, say that um, that new stuff makes it better. Gotcha. So worth getting to. It's worth doing uh, the all the extra stuff it asks you to do. <laughs> yeah, I've I've been real damn busy. And I'm like yeah. trying to juggle like multiple games at a time is getting tough. Uh, that's my life. <laughs> Cause like I was playing Resident Evil on my PS5. Cause, yeah. Cause I joined the PS5 gang, and uh, yeah. like I'm playing Returnal, and I've been playing like a couple different games with like my, my friends. Yeah. And it's just like it's getting it's getting rough. Yeah, that's how it goes. I mean, that's how. I mean, we even see that just with this channel, you know. Like, yeah. There's that we just stopped playing, not because we didn't like them, just because uh, there's a lot of games we want to play, and uh, yeah. we just kind of forget about them. Like, Ooh, uh, oh my Steve. god. Parasite Eve, I know we both really liked. Yeah. And uh, it's not even that long. It just kind of like, honestly, I just kind of forgot about it. <laughs> yeah. Just because we were playing other stuff. A lot of things fall to the wayside. Yeah. Like, there's some that I'm, like, adamant about trying to, like, make sure we finish, like, uh, Pokemon we kept coming back to. Owie. And, uh, you know, obviously there's been this one. Has been pretty yeah. consistent. No matter how long we take between it. Yeah. It's been like, oh, get the fuck out of here. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Where did all that damage come from? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I, I always enjoy playing a lot of games. Like I've been, I've been playing Persona Three on and off since January of 2020. Fuck. And I'm still like, uh, I just played it like yesterday. <laughs> like I'm still, still haven't forgotten about it. Just very slowly making my way through it. My boy Seath needs to relax. Yeah. He does. He is too tense. What's going on here? What's happening? Oh, just the actual like physical attack? Weird. Yeah. I think we've oh, done that's it. A curse. That instantly kills you. So it's a good thing that uh that didn't build up. Yeah. What well, can I say? I'm pretty play, good. Now we get to play the fun game of how do we start the DLC? Now we get to play the fun game of saying Seath, first try. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um. Ooh, I'm like, I'm gonna be like two k short of getting two levels. Well, I will look up the uh, how to get to the boss. Will you do that? Uh. You need to have killed that Hydra first. So I guess that'll be step one. The the one... Like the first, like the very first one we ran into? Yeah, I think they're the same Hydra. Uh, it just moves. But yeah, that one um, in Dark Root ah, Basin. Son of a bitch. Alright. 
Gotta gotta use another soul. I can't I can't leave knowing that I'm one thousand short. <laughs> I do really like this DLC, so I'm excited to do it. I thought it was one of the cooler areas in the game. And I'm gonna keep building up my damage, because that's just what I do. Should I warp to somewhere? Yeah. Um. That would get me closer. I think Stone well, Dragon you would give me... warp to get out of here, don't you? Probably, but... I think Stone Dragon... Uh -oh. Would take me to the one that's, mm -hmm. like, down in, like, the... Like, the yeah, one weird I'm area. Sure. I guess I should make sure it's the same one. If we were gonna do that. Dark Souls Hydra. I'll go there. Um, no, it looks like this is not the same one. See, so, yeah, I think you gotta go somewhere else. Let me find the. Yeah, where was it? Closest. Um,. Oh man, I'm trying to think. Like, it was outside that, um, the door with Havel, right? Yeah. And that was in the Undead Burg, which we cannot warp to. The Undead Parish, I think, would get you there, but. I don't think it's like the same place we think it is. I I don't know. There's a way to get there from the Undead Parish. Like you have to go over by like Sif, and like it'll bring you to like the top of that waterfall. But I like I could get there from the Undead Burg from memory, but I don't know how to get there this way. But there is a way to get there this way. I'll say you didn't um, rest at that bonfire, just so you know. I got you. Don't be seen in the mess. Be careful. Good morning, youth. I'm afraid you have. Don't be seen in the mess. So, I should go down then from here, right? Uh, yeah. So we're gonna have to do a little work here to find the way. Okay, so do I gotta take this way all the way to? Ah, fuck! Do I gotta take all this like all the way to like where Sif would like was or? Uh, yeah. Um. Well. Well, not all the way to Sif. You want to go? go. It's... Uh, yeah. Maybe try that way. Uh, I don't remember where that goes. I remember you could definitely see that lake from somewhere in here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is a good way to go. This should lead there, actually. I forgot about this route. I've never this forgotten. There you go. Perfect. I never forget anything. I'm just... <laughs> I'm the smartest man alive. We were here like so long ago. Yeah. How long have we been playing this game? 
Uh, I don't know. I know this will be like the 34th episode, I believe. Uh, yeah, something like that. But like, see episode one, December 8th. Okay, so since December off and on. Not that long. That makes sense, because it was right after, uh, right after we started playing Demon Souls. Yeah. Which is when the uh, PS5 came out. Here we go. Here we go. Probably take care of these dudes before we start focusing on that Hydra. Yeah. Now, I'll cool. be honest, I've never, I have never taken him out without a bow. So, you're, uh, you're on your own here. I don't know how hard it is. Maybe just let him take out the golems. <laughs> yeah. Because he's doing that. Ow. Ooh. Call me with that one. Miss me with that bullshit. Why is there so many of you? Why is there so many? It's fine. It's fine. We do good damage against these ones because they're weak. They're weaker. Yeah. Ow. Haha. <laughs> Thanks for knocking me down, nerd. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and stand behind this rock. <laughs> and then, uh, see if I have a bow. Yeah, even if you and the do. Dragon Slayer Great you, Bow. You probably have the strength for the Great Bow. Great Bow. Um, I don't know. It's 28. Yeah, you do. Bam. Might as well equip that. And then uh, some arrows. Those are your bolts. Uh, you got to go to the left gotcha. there. Dragon Slayer arrows. You got one. Perfect. I don't know if you can use the regular arrows in the great bow or not. Gonna find out, won't we? Yeah. Wow, he sniped me. Snipe me. That was a headshot. <laughs> wow, through the rock? Okay. Uh, Do damage though. Alright, that's cool. No worries. It's weird. It's like not doing damage. It's just. I think it's because I was in the head. middle of healing. So maybe it's taking some. <laughs> Attack him and it'll be easier that way. I don't know. I just don't think I've ever done it that way. Woo. It's like not letting me do it. Uh, there we go. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't think this is going to work with the arrows. I think you're going to have to go into the water. Before we go in the water, though, you're going to want to put a water ring that lets you move around normally. Well, I'll probably uh, should run right away there. then. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm just reading this up. Woo! The wiki here, and it looks like you have to cut off every individual head. So, I don't think arrows are going to cut it. Also, if you're not going to use the bow, you should probably take it off because it adds a lot of weight. Yeah. Yep. You got it. Um, so that was the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, 
rusted iron ring right up there. Do I have it? Yeah, you went past it. Did I? Yeah. It's towards the bottom, I think. Right oh, there. Then. Rusted iron ring. It's not very clear that that's what it is for. It just says poor footing. Maybe if you went further in the description, it says it or something. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Do damage though, so this guy might not be too hard. Um, Jesus you can't, Christ! Can't you can't run all the way up to him? Uh, the water cuts off. I'm aware. Yep. Water, and then wait for it to shrink. And um, you can attack. I don't. There should be like a clear cutoff. If you like look in the water, but there is. Woo! There you go. Oh, there you go. That only took two hits. Two hits. God, I can't see yeah. shit. Five left. I can't see a goddamn thing. <laughs> got it. Got it. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> Where are you at? There you are. Very kind of you to do that. What the fuck? <laughs> cool, I'm gonna stop doing that. <laughs> Alright. I'm just gonna dodge like straight back. That works. Three more. This isn't too bad. Yeah, take that. No, come back. I got one, I think. I got one hit on that. Ow! No! Oh, I got it. I got it. I think. <laughs> Is it dead? It's dead. Nice. Isn't there like a path okay. along the side of this? Yeah, that's where you're going now. Um, I I don't know if you're gonna need to reload the area, though. So. Um, I mean you can go check. You might not. You mean like exit my game and restart it? Oh, uh, I guess that would work. This is the kind of system Returnal needs where it's just saving constantly. <laughs> yeah. That'd be pretty sweet, man. Yeah, because that way if, even if like your console crashed, it would just bring you right back where you were, you know? Yeah, because I will, I will say, like, having, like, an hour run to find out I just died. And I don't think this is where you're supposed to go, but I'm not sure. Well, I don't know where this is going, but I want to check it out. I think this goes back up to where we went with Sif. I'm not positive. It's going to really suck if you do have to go up there. <laughs> Um, I think you're supposed to go in the waterfall, though. Or something. Is there more path along? Uh, you can check. Should be, uh... Pretty clear if you can walk on it or not. I'm just waiting for you to fall. You're looking for the... A golden golem. Like that? There you go. Yep. Kill that. 
Let's go. He got me. Gotta love the Dark Souls way of uh, getting into DLC. Like, I like how they're like, here, you wanna buy this DLC with all these new bosses? And then you're like, yeah, here's 20 bucks. And they're like, cool, thanks. Figure now, it uh, out. So how do I, how do I play it? Oh, I don't know. Figure it out. What, you wanna heat? Nah, that's not happening. I don't think this game gives you a single hint. I know in Bloodborne, yeah. uh, you get like an item that gives you a hint. What's up, lady? Slice. All right, boring. Let's go. <laughs> sure. Yep. I thought, like, from the back, those, like, look like her ears, but I realized they're, like, flowers in her hair or something. Yeah. Or, like, a pin. All right. Um. Now you need to go get a different item. Jesus. A broken pendant. It's possible you already have this, but I don't. I don't think it actually appears until you talk to her. Uh, but it's called a broken pendant. I don't know where it would be. Probably in key items. These are key I items, I right? Actually look. I would assume. Uh, I think those are literal keys, but that is probably where it would be. Let's see, broken pendant. Uh, it is a key, so yeah, it would be in that. Where is so it? Back to the library. Like C's library. That? Yes. Remember that crystal golem in the very beginning of the library that was just hanging out on the side? Yeah. You have to go kill him. <sighs> he doesn't drop it until after you rescue the Dusk of Ulysseal, though, which is who that lady was. What is this? Is that a summon? It is for the Hydra. You just summon them even though I already killed the Hydra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just run around with them. And after you get the broken pendant, you'll just come back here. Um, and there will be a strange purple cloud that you will examine and be teleported to the DLC. This My is, like, God. very cryptic, though. Like, it doesn't give you any hints for any of this. I like, don't she need... Didn't... Oh, you need to get the broken pendant or anything. I don't need no hints. <laughs> well, I do. I'm the smartest person I know. <laughs> Got a memory like an elephant. Don't elephants have bad memories, though? No, nah, man. They don't forget anything. I'm just making stuff up. I have no idea. If that's You're thinking of thing goldfish. <laughs> I'm just, like, imagining that the, uh, the whole elephants have great memories things is a myth. Because a lot of those, like, little sayings like that end up being myths. Not this one, because this is... <laughs> Because I said it's true. <laughs> you know, we have technology. I could just find out right now. That's true. Do elephants. All right, here's the first thing that comes up when I say, 
two elephants, all right? Do they have big wieners? Is that the first one? <laughs> no. Do elephants think humans are cute? <laughs> Please say yes. Please say yes. <laughs> do elephants know how to gamble? Then three is do elephants have good memories? All right. Do they think humans are cute? Um, it is unproven. <laughs> do elephants have good memory? They do have incredible memories. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Where are we going back? Here we to? go. Duke's archives. Yes. All right. And then we're going to remember what we need like to do in the next episode. Yep. Because it's unproven we're if really they think we're cute or not. <laughs> Bye. Bye.